Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome to your third Nmap tutorial. So in this tutorial, what I'm going to be talking about is some aggressive scans and basically how to get more information from your scans and more powerful scanning options. So without further ado, let's get to it. Um, so the first thing, as usual, you have to open your terminal and you have to initialize Nmap. Pretty self-explanatory, you should already know that by now. Uh, so again, I'm just going to use the help command just to make it easier for you guys to understand. All right, so um, let's say we want to get information about what um, operating system is running uh, on the uh, the basically the site or IP or IP ranges. Uh, so how would we uh, go about that? Well, luckily for us, we do have a command or a parameter that can actually give us that information, and that is the A parameter which as it says here, will enable OS detection, the version of the operating system, excuse me, and it will give us script scanning, so to see if any scripts are running, and trace route, um, so that's basically what it will give you. So let's actually try that right now with the scanme.nmap.org. All right, so let's try that, nmap, uh, capital A, and let's scanme.nmap, whoops, excuse me, I actually pressed something wrong there. Excuse me, guys. Um, dot nmap dot org. All right, so let's see what it actually gives us. All right, it's going to start scanning, and uh, given the fact that I've not specified any ports, it's going to go through a thousand ports, and it's actually grabbing the operating system information and all of that stuff. So it's actually using the aggressive scan, which is basically what A means is aggressive. So just let it scan, and um, let's see what we get. Now, well, one thing I also wanted to tell you guys is uh, it's going to give you a trace route, but uh, I'm going to recommend that you just, it's, a trace route is really not important at this time. So I just want you to ignore that for this period of time. I'm going to get to it later. So uh, let, let it finish scanning. All right, there we are. Uh, it actually scanned. So uh, it's going to give you the latency and it's going to scan a thousand ports by default. Uh, that's what Nmap does, but you can specify how many you want to or which ports like we mentioned in the previous video. So uh we have port 22 which is ssh uh, and it's running uh open ssh uh ubuntu it's running on ubuntu which is pretty strange i would say i was expecting something like uh red hat but nonetheless maybe it's just a test server for the site so it's running ubuntu linux and uh, it has the host key i'll explain what this is later we really don't need to know that and then we have http which is running apache standard stuff um and it's, it's giving you a little teaser here telling you to go ahead and scan me. So I'm really going to ignore that right now. And you can see it's actually running the Linux kernel. So that's basically how to get OS, basically like an aggressive scan. Uh, now, let's say you want to find out what services, uh, the service versions of the services that are running. Basically like the version of the operating system that's running. It may have given it here, but I just want to show you the difference. So to do that, you actually have to hit nmap, a uh, small uh, s and a capital S, and uh, we're going to try that again, dot nmap, dot org, right? And let's hit that, and let's see what it gives us, right? Again, it's going to take a while to scan, and what this means is it's just going to show you the services, the service version, that's what it means. And it's just going to give you the version of the um of whatever services or operating systems are being used on the server or IP ranges. And how this is helpful is for like, if you wanted to know if there were vulnerabilities, for example, in Ubuntu 2.4, for example, uh, and you had exploits, you would really want to know what you're attacking. So you can actually line up exploits specific for the version. So it's really, really important that uh, so um, Ubuntu 2.8 pretty much has given us quite uh, similar uh, information to the first scan, but it's uh, pretty minimal here. It's it's uh, it's left the trace route and stuff like that. Um, so it's running Ubuntu 2.8, Apache 2.4.7, which it really it did uh, it did give us up there. So it may seem like it's not a very important uh, function, but trust me, it is when uh, when it comes to scanning really, really big service or sites or IP ranges or an IP. So uh, now uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to scan for specific ports. All right. Now, 
um, entering a specific pot can be, well, you can say it's, it takes quite a while. And uh, for a beginner, you really just want to get the, the, the important pots, uh, like for example, SSH, uh, HTTP, uh, echo and the MySQL. So the command for this is basically nmap, a capital F. I'm going to explain what that means. Um, and let's use the scan me. I know I'm using it more than I should now, but um, I'm almost done uh, just explaining what these uh, these advanced um, commands are. So nmap f scan me dot nmap dot org. All right. What the f means is basically fast, and it'll actually just give you the most commonly targeted ports. So let's see what it gives us, and you can actually see the most important targeted ports. All right. So it's targeted, um, it's going to scan for 100 ports, all right? These are the, well, um, I, as I mentioned, uh, it's going to scan for 1,000 by default. But if you enter the, the F, which means fast, it's going to scan for 100 ports, all right? And th these are going to be the most important ports. So uh, that it scanned for TCP and HTTP. These are the only impo important ports that are open. So... Uh, if there were more, it would have given you more of the important ports like MySQL and stuff like that. So that's basically how to just target the important ports without actually entering a specific port. Very useful if you're a beginner and you just want to check out all the open important ports that it has instead of going through all the 1000. All right. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, uh, I know I'm uh, giving you guys a lot right now, but I forgot to mention this in, I think, the first video is with nmap you can actually um, scan more than one in a row so if i entered scan me dot nmap dot org right and um let's actually use the fast command um, um and let's say we wanted to also scan um, let's say we wanted to scan google.com I'm sure Google won't say anything to me for this. Um, let's say we want to save it again, as I mentioned. Uh, this time we're going to save it as a TXT file, which I'll show you how to do right now. Home, Alexis, um, desktop, that's where I want to save it. And I'm going to say scan.txt. Make sure you specify that. And it's going to create a TXT file. And let's see what it actually gives us. So it's going to, let's open it. And again, it's going to scan, it's going to scan for Google. And it's going to scan for nmap, scanme.nmap.org and it's going to give them a very good format. So um, Google has three ports open and um, uh, scanme.nmap has two ports open. So that's a pretty cool way of scanning multiple in a row and you can add as many as you like. So that's just a quick time saving tip. And uh, that's another way of actually saving it as TXT. So you don't really don't need to use grippable output. All right, so um, that's basically how to enter multiple IPs. Uh, you can also, in addition, do this. You can actually say nmap. Let's use the fast again. And let's say uh, www.google.com. We have actually used um, the scan me domain more, more than I think I should have. You can actually um, enter uh, an IP address. Uh, sorry, you don't use a comma. So let's say 192.168.0.1. Let's see what we get there. That's basically the router, the uh, basic, the router um, IP there. Let's just see what we get. I'm going to save it to home, desktop, and scan.txt. All right. Let's see what we get. So it's going to scan for Google and it's going to scan for the IP. And as you can see, my router has a, a, a UPnP. I'll explain what that is later. And it just uh, basically allows you to scan an IP and a site in one line. So this is really, really cool stuff. It actually can save you a lot of time. Um, one last thing before we actually end, end the video. I know I've uh, shown you guys a lot in this video. But uh, yeah, uh, one last thing. Uh, let's say this will actually is one of my favorite commands because it just saves a lot of time. So let's say I say nmap. Um, this will save a lot of time. So let's say nmap open google.com. All right. And let's again save it to home 
Alexis desktop and scan actually let's use the capital scan this time and let's see what it gives us all right uh, this is the one I'm guessing right here and uh, you see it scanned really fast because um, it's just going to give you the open ports it's not it's not going to give you any of the other stuff that's closed or I mean that that's filtered or any uh, that uh, of the ports that um, nmap is really not sure about so that's basically um, the last command I wanted to show you here. I uh, hope this video helped you guys. Again, I'm going to ask you to share this video so a lot of people can can get this content and can actually help them. Uh, uh, one more thing, guys. Thank you for the support on the channel. Um, we're really, really growing at an exorbitant rate, and I'm really, really proud of the journey that we've had so far. I'm going to. I'm keeping my. I'm keeping my pledge to be providing videos almost every day for you guys. Um, and that's what I'm going to stick to. So thank you so much for the support. Thank you for asking questions. I really appreciate that. By the way, if you have any questions, you know the drill. I'm on kick social media and in the comment section, anything you need, just ask me and I'll be happy to help you. Uh, otherwise, uh, guys, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video and have a fantastic day. Peace.